Hi, this is Frank Taylor with Nature at Your Door, and this is a special on the road episode with Nature at Your Door on Lugano Lake in Switzerland. This is where my mother was born and where I came many summers and spent days here fishing at this lake. I often would see water snakes when I was here. And the water snake was always in the water. Sometimes he'd poke his head up, he'd poke that head up out of the water, look at me, and then wriggle away and disappear underwater, under a rock or under a wall. But today's episode, I was able to get up close to a couple of these native Swiss water snakes. And that's what this episode is about. Right here in your backyard, you never know what you're gonna find. Over the 50 years that I've been coming here, this apparently has been an ideal habitat for these water snakes. They would live underneath these rocks and in these walls, and we'd frequently see them swim out in the water, and whenever they saw us or they poked their head above the water, they would quickly disappear underneath the surface. These snakes are known as dice snakes because underneath they often have a very bright yellow or orange color and some very dark spots which look like dice and hence the name dice snake. The scientific name is Natrix tessellata and are also locally known as water snakes as well as being called the dice snake. Dice snakes here seem to occupy the same niche as our common water snake that you can find across much of North America, at least west of the Rockies, which is a snake whose scientific name is Nerodia sipidon. Like the North American water snake, this snake spends most of its time in water and is, feeds almost exclusively on fish. Since snakes, as a rule, don't chew their food and swallow them whole, this snake, like the others, is always fun to watch how they can disengage their jaw, stretch out their mouth, their throat, their body, and swallow things that have a much larger diameter than they do at rest. Dice snakes are mainly fish eaters, but they will take a frog or a toad or a tadpole on occasion as well. They have a gray-brown body with dark spots. They can be up to 39 to 50 inches long or well over a meter. They have a narrow pointed head and orange-rimmed eyes. As I investigated this species, I was surprised to learn that we're on the very western edge of its range. Here in Switzerland, on the border of Italy, in the uh, sub-Alps, uh, Italian Lake District, per se. The range stretches from here all across Eurasia, all through Italy, north to the Ukraine, and even south to Iran. I'd never been this close to adult dice snake. Usually they're fast and disappear into the water very quickly, but this adult seemed to have been injured in some kind of accident. I found this juvenile under a board on the sort of rocky beach area here, and it was September, so this is likely one of the eggs that have hatched. They were probably laid in July. They'll hatch into September from a female that will lay probably 10 or 30 eggs. When encountered, the water snake's first line of defense is to dive into the water and disappear and hide. But if they're confronted and they can't do that, another line of defense, like several of the snakes I've handled in the U.S., they'll release an extremely nasty, foul-smelling material or musk that is released through their cloaca, which is the business end of a snake. And very much akin to the North American hognose snake, this snake, like the hognose, will undergo a theatrical death display if they can't escape from their predator, if they've been picked up and dropped or the predator's right on top of them. The dice snake will roll over, be very still, smear feces and excrement and musk from its aquaca over its body, and actually bleed from its mouth 
so he'll really look dead. Now, how this works, I guess it's a surprise to the predator. Predators are used to chasing live things, a lot of them, unless they're detritivores, don't eat dead things. So it startles the predator and may give the snake a moment to escape. It's a biological strategy that's called high risk, high reward. It's a high risk, but if it works, you're rewarded with surviving another day. I actually wasn't aware of these behaviors when I first encountered these snakes. Otherwise, I might have tried to do something to get them to show me that reaction. Thought you might enjoy this share. It's been fun for me to be in other countries outside of my home range and meet new and different kinds of herps or reptiles and snakes like this. It's been a lot of fun. Well, thanks for watching this uh, on the road episode of Nature Ear Door, looking at the Swiss water snake here on Lugano Lake in Switzerland. Remember, if you like what I do on this channel, please subscribe. Give me a like and leave me a comment. I love hearing from my viewers. And remember, I cover all things nature. From frogs, toads, snakes, turtles, the myriapoda, insects, trees, wildflowers, and fungi. I cover all the things you might encounter just outside your door. So thanks again for watching this On the Road episode of Nature at Your Door.